I just thought you might like to try this at home. So hopefully you've read the instructions. Um, so I've just posted this little video to give to show you step by step how to do it. And for the knots especially, they can be a bit tricky. So just bear with it and you can pause and rewind and have a look at the step by step photos. Um, but it's quite a good uh, skill to learn. So it might be something that you could challenge yourself over lockdown. So here we go. We, we need some string, uh, four pieces, four sticks. You could make a triangular frame. So it's up to you. May, uh, but I'm doing a basic four, four stick frame. Okay, to attach the string to the, the sticks, we're going to use two different types of knots. So these can be quite tricky. So what I'm going to suggest, and I find it particularly tricky, so you can just rewind and pause the video or you can look at the step-by-step -step, uh, pictures on the page that I'm going to post. But to start, this is called a clove hitch knot. The clove hitch knot is good for attaching a string to an object or, and in this case it will be the stick. So to do this knot, you start by, this is the end of the string. We're going to put it over the stick, so it's gone behind. That's step one. And step two, it's gone, goes around. So it's almost like you've got the shape of a fish, kind of. Then this end, it goes behind the stick. And now, that was stick stage four. Step four is this working end now, this end of the string. It doesn't go in this loop or the middle. It goes underneath the loop that you've just made. And then you tighten both ends. See, if you pull, you should have a kind of cross over of one part of the string and behind two straight, if, that, if you can see that. Clearly. So the next part is attaching the sticks together. And for this, it's called a lash. So you're going to have a, if you're going to have a, a frame like this, we're going to have the knots at the top. So we're leaving a little section here, right, right angle. So for the lash knot, this is going to bind the two sticks together. Okay. So we get the, the, the string that we're working with and we're going to go over, we're always going to go over the stick that's on top and the one that's below, we're going to go under and we're going to repeat that process. So we're going over, I hope you can see this okay, it's a bit tricky to show. So Okay, so I've gone over the top, underneath the bottom, over the top and I'm going underneath the bottom and you keep going till you feel it's a bit secure. So I'm going to go around about three times, I think that will make it quite secure. So over the top, so you're kind of making a square almost. So over, under, over, under, over. So, over and under, and now, you can see it's quite, it's still a little bit wib wiggly, so it's not quite strong, so another part of this knot is to go, you're going in between the two sticks to make it tighter, so you're going to go. And this is called frapping, I think. So you go, so you're going in between the two sticks. And 
and keep pulling on the string to make it tight after each turn and yeah I think again about three times is enough I have to use this I'm using this thicker one to show this is easier to show up um, tight see that's that's quite secure now it's quite tight and then what you could do is you just do a simple knot like as if you tie your shoelaces so I don't want to overload you with different knots and you can cut the string if it's too long so you've already got one part so the next part again is you're going to do exactly the same basically again so again I'm going to I'm going to show you with the, sh the wall this time. I'm going to do the clove hitch again. And I'm going to go over. And around. Go back. And then I'm going to go this end is now going to go back through the hoop and tighten. So I know that's a bit difficult to see. I hope you can see that now. So we've got the, the hitch there. And again, we repeat then the same process. This time the stick is underneath. So we get the string. Again, we're doing the, the lashing. So we go in. Sorry, I'm just grabbing this. Right, underneath the bottom. Over the top. Underneath over the top, underneath the bottom st stick, over the top, making that kind of square shape. Underneath, over, underneath, over, underneath, over, underneath. That might be okay now. And I keep pulling on it. That's quite tight, but now we're going to do the next part of the knot, which is going in between the two sticks to make it a lot tighter. Remember to pull on the string each time. Oh, it's got caught on the caught cool on one of the okay so I'm going to do a few more and that's that's quite secure I can cut the end I could tie this round make a knot and then cut this last part of after and again we do the same with the third stick so the stick will go it depends how you've laid out but you can so this stick will go on top so we need to do a clove hitch on this on this third stick again so we go around behind come over like we're doing a fish shape we take this end and we put it through the loop that we've just made and tighten it and again the same process again so it's actually quite good practice because you end up doing it four times you get the hang of it right okay so we're going to go 
can get a little bit tricky holding it. So we're going to go uh, over the top, over the top stick, under the bottom, then over. under, over, oops, over that top stick, under, over, under, over, I might do this a few times, it seems a bit wobbly. Over, under, over, under, over. And then I'm going to again do show you the knot that goes in between the tip, the two sticks to make it tighter. The wrapping, so we go in in between the two. And again, just see if it's a bit loose, keep tightening it. We can add some more. With the wool, I end up using quite a bit. You can go more, but if you've got thicker string, yeah, that should be fine. Again, I can cut that off at the end for the last one. So I'm going to do the final clove hitch. So I go over. around like you're making the fish shape and then the end is coming back through the loop and tighten it up and then that's the last so we go in over the top, underneath the bottom, over the top, underneath the bottom, over, oh, I may, I may have gone under, I'm not sure, but underneath, <laughs> and over, underneath the bottom one, I mean, it, it doesn't matter whether you go over the bottom or the top, it's just how I started it. Sorry, that's a bit. Okay, so now the last piece, I've just given that a tight, give it a pull to make it a bit tighter. So the very last. Knotting it in between two sticks. Pulling it, make it tight. And then I'm going to tie a couple of knots and cut the string. And you can even it up after, but that's your stick frame. And you can do lots of different things. You can Add a piece of string here to hang it up. You can put pictures or anything inside. You can use it to frame the thing. You can also put string or wool across, almost make it a weaving frame. And you can just tie the pieces of wool on. Do lots of things. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. <laughs> And I hope you've been able to watch it okay and follow. And good luck and please do share any frames that you've made or any knots that you've tried. I, I would really love to see that. Thank you. Enjoy. Take care. Keep safe.